a cat is talking. Look, 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 he's going, he's going. Hotel here. It's this really small street. It is just so majestic looking on the daylight. I guess the camera can't catch the size. It's huge. So one real obelisk here that are stolen from Egypt. I really can't remember where those others are, but those are around the world right now. But here is the one, the real one. gonna go in a mosque because this all is the line in the mosque <laughs> looks like it's gonna take hours to get in but this is cool these old walls too bad that it's against the light so I think that the camera won't catch it but this really looks like a time from the Constantinopolis a big part of it is under renovation. And there's so much to see here. But I want to show you this when I go through this little hole. Okay, we have a last hour and a sleeping dog here. There it is, at the Constantinople time, it was the biggest building in the world in years, actually, for centuries. And even from the distance, the mosque looks so huge. There's towers from there to there. This really old. I don't know, aqueduct, tower, and people are living around it. Okay, this looks like the old walls of the fortress. Look at the, how thick it was. This park looks cool. Huge trees. We found a short line in a museum. 
Well, that's what's weird past in a museum. They have a metal detector there that you have to walk through, put uh, metal things on the table. Well, I did them in my box and it was alarming and they were just waving, us, waving me through. So <laughs> that was weird. So we are at the museum side now. Let's see what we can find. Ah, they are scanning the ground here. Try to look what is underneath. There cannot be hidden treasures that usually there is in these kind of areas. So the device is scanning the ground and computer turns the signals. So we can understand what there is. This is cool within the place. Yeah, it's cooler in here. <clears throat> Look at the details of this wall here. These are really deep 3D. A statue of Emperor Hadrian here standing on a child or what this is supposed to be. see how deep they have found this and it goes deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper at the end so almost at the top a little bit deeper and when we go about one meter down now we are oh, well, two and a half meters meter deep We are coming over three meters, meters deep. And now we are already here. And this is the deepest one, so early bronze age. Cool. Okay, old sarcophagus. describe Finland here if you look at the map. It's up there and under the clouds. <laughs> That's usually this. And actually in this world there's two suns because sun is coming up from there but this is all a, there's night here so another sun is illuminating this side. But anyway here's cool looking coins. A little bit more expensive that I have in my pocket and a lot of them really old for five, 500 and Constantinos for Constantinos 6 Mauricius Tiberius wow that is a one big coffin there Imagine 
imagine how much this will weigh. So we were in there, and this is a huge place. And now we're gonna go in this building. Let's see what we find here. Cool inside too. <laughs> Best part of the museum is the air condition. <laughs> I could stand here for a while. Ah. Okay, so that was that. And stone works out here too. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, that's it. It was interesting. We are living in the museum now. Try to find something to bring it. Local fresh, made from fresh uh, fruits. Something to drink. Okay, now we are here at the sea and actually far away there where the bridge ends. That's Asia. And that's the other side. That's still a Europe. Okay, we are here at the small streets of Istanbul. Going for look the Grand Bazaar. Okay, quite a change come from this street to this street. This street is really a tourist trap. So here we are at the entrance of Grand Bazaar. And this is crowded. There are still metal detectors everywhere. Here we are. Antique market, old bazaar. Look at the ceiling, that looks cool. 
Julie went to buy some mats on his house. But actually I've heard that uh, James Bond has been riding up at the top of the, at the ceiling. His shop just goes on and on and on and on. I'm not gonna film this anymore. It's gonna be boring. Boring film, but... Let's see what we're gonna get the next. Hi. 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 <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay, so we're here at the back alleys and Julian is taking a haircut here. Looks like it's gonna take a while. But just behind here is a lot of these uh, water places. You can wash your hands. And they are doing dishes here too. Here. As you see, they are cleaning the feet and water is coming. Sculpture of Apollo on top. It is big one. So, okay, so we are in a bad rush over here. But good view. I don't know, can you see? But if I zoom in, there's a really traffic of the ships too at the sea. Bathroom time and we are filming. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we are up at the walking bridge that goes over the highway. Istanbul is right there. And the ships are waiting to go to, they can go pass through actually. Those houses that you see are at Asia and this is this is the Europe and there's goes the tunnel under the sea. And there are Ships are waiting in a line there that they can pass it through. But then you gotta look the ship, 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 and there's a lot of ships waiting for this side. Hopefully I can zoom in that you can really see how many there are waiting. And kids are having fun. And let's take it. We look at the other side. There's the mosque, and the hotel is well between me and the mosque. Not so much trash that I thought. I thought it should be full of trash. As you see, in this kind of country, that there's no fence here. That is a little key here. Actually, all cats are key. Yeah, and yeah, we get back to this um, restaurant here. And same set. Great shoes. Made from fresh fruits there. And I almost that took the same, same meal. Yeah, word of coming twice. We have friends here too because of, I guess, of the fish. Now we go back to the hotel and get some sleep and uh, it's early morning tomorrow to continue our trip. Okay, so we can skip the sleeping part, at least the early sleeping part, if this is open. 
it's a must. That's maybe this is the prayer time since it's 8 o'clock. Yeah. Whoa, this is breathtaking. This is big. Too bad that you can really see how far the wall is there. place where I had to take my shoes off but this is really overwhelming you really cannot see it from a camera the Virgin Mary and the Saints. Oh, okay. Whatever was left Christian or they just cover it like that. Oh. And this lamp here is I would say one, two, three, six to eight meters in diameter. Same time yesterday, no? Now we are really confused because this looks like it's open to it. Because this time Yesterday it was closed. So, is there something to do that there's a Turkish national holiday tomorrow? But anyway, we are going to check this out too. Okay, now we are in a mosque. Spraying areas and there's a dress code. No shoes and women have to cover their heads. Uh, yeah. And there's a really great looking ceiling and there's a construction renovation going on so different racks are up there this is prayer area visitors has to be behind so I'm not gonna feel very more than this but uh, quite cool place it was cool to be there never been and uh, Okay, it was on renovation, but it was amazing looking place. <laughs> yeah, I guess now we headed to the hotel.